Hey gang, Ronan here. As you can see in this game, I'm playing the Tier 10 Pan-European Destroyer Holland. Matchmaking, well, it's actually, it's pretty good. I mean, I, I this is going to be a fun game. I mean, I just look at the matchmaking here and I think, I think this will probably be close, right? Uh, the Red Marceau, well, that's always kind of a roll of the dice. The, the Marceau player knows what they're doing and runs into either myself or the other Holland or even the Yamagiri um, and is able to get those guns hot, it can be real bad for other destroyers. It's difficult to do a lot of damage with destroyer guns and the uh, Marceau guns do a lot of damage. <laughs> so it can be pretty ugly. Now, why am I sitting here? Well, I'm sitting here because um, not always, but a lot of times I want to try and get some idea of where their CV plans to go. And I also want to see whether anybody on my side of the map is going to move up with me. And I'm really glad that I did that because I don't want to eat a whole bunch of damage. Now I can help the Des Moines here and I'm happy to do that, but I had no way of knowing what the Des Moines was going to be. Des Moines takes a little bit of damage, really not that bad. 4,000, a little bit less than 4,000, right? Um, I hope that doesn't scare him off. And now I need to get up here and see what I can do at the cap. And there's something out that way. I need to tell my team there's something out that way. Now you can see there's somebody in the cap. So actually, probably uh, right there in the cap. Now, the little pie shaped wedge that's often on the mini map. Um, this was right after an update. Oh, hey, look at that. This is right after an update, and that particular mod had not been installed yet. I'm not sure I want to fire here. I want to count on our Des Moines to do some damage, and I'm just going to try and get away. I'm going to try and create some space. And he's not going to chase me with Montana and Des Moines right here. But if I fire, I'm going to stay visible a lot longer. Now I'll go dark. See, when he hits me, it definitely hurts. And there are probably more so torpedoes coming. And I totally misjudged what he was going to do. Marceau is difficult to hit with torpedoes because it is so fast. You can see the lead that I'm having to give this guy. And even when I do that, not enough. He's got the speed boost active. So he is going to be putting... Everybody's guns to work here, and he is not easy to hit at those speeds. Finally land a good hit, but doesn't do a lot of damage. Let's see if I can keep having some success here. Got the range now. I don't want to lose all of my HP. I'm going to get one more volley. Ouch. Ouch. To port. Maybe I can help finish him off. You can see the Gudenlu and the Colombo. They're both moving up. Whew. So, Holland on the other side takes out their Hindenburg and our Montana. This side with me takes out the Marceau and I find myself radared by Des Moines. Now, am I going to throw torpedoes that way? Well, I thought about it, but I decide ultimately not to. And I want to just get out of the radar range of that Des Moines. I throw the torpedoes there in the hope that maybe I catch Colombo or Genon. And time for me to get back in the cap. Now, Gudenlu, he's, he's within range. I mean, he could start dropping airstrikes back here. And I also have to watch for torpedoes from Genon. And Colombo, he got out of there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit here long enough to try and secure the cap. And then maybe I try throwing torpedoes at that Des Moines. So our team on the other side have secured the Charlie cap. The bad guys are down two ships. We are down one. And as I mentioned a minute ago, some of my regular mods were not available when I played this game. 
Republic. Can I get him? Maybe I'll get him through that gap right there. Go narrow spread. And yeah, maybe I can catch him. Is he actually going to continue that way? No. No, he's not. Maybe he's coming back. No. Torps only take a minute to reload anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and throw them out there. And we're going to lose eyes on the Gudenloo when I go behind this island, but I'm okay with that. He looks like he intends to reposition. With the range on these Torps, it's not impossible that I could hit him or the Janan or both. And I'll reacquire him for my team. And he's reversing, so it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get him. And it looks like the team is okay, because I certainly want I do catch him with one. Uh, is okay with allowing the bad guys to have the Bravo Cap, but we lose Salem and Montana in short order. And the bad guys uh, suddenly have a one ship advantage. I've got 10 seconds try and make this count and I keep expecting Gene on there you can see his smoke there just off to your left side of your screen I keep expecting him to show up here and I think Gudenlu is going to back behind the island which Republic going to do okay he's got to if he's if he's not turning south He's got to come right up next to that island before he can turn north. So I'm going to throw those out there and hope that that's what he wants to do. There's the Genon that I was concerned about pushing up, but I got eyes on him. And I expect to, the Republic's probably going to turn right. It's going to turn left on your screen, but I, uh, did I misjudge? Looks like I did. He's turning the other way. I might still catch him. No, no, he is turning back, just uh, not as soon as I'd hoped. But I do still manage to catch him with two. And he's flooding. And right now, our the position that we hold uh, as a team, I think, is much better than the, team, the red team. Uh, Colombo, is, is he going to do the same thing in reverse? He's going to come in here and then go south. Republic is, is sunk. Uh, what is Colombo going to do? i got five seconds here. Do I, can I get Torps in that smoke? Our Hindi takes out the Republic. Conqueror takes out the U-2501. Jinan burns down our Hindenburg. And Colombo is now going to... Looks like he's going to push south. And it looks like Genon's going to come with him. So it's probably a really good idea for our Des Moines to get out of there. My My now I might land some torpedoes here, but if those two ships backed up by Gudenlu push the Des Moines where he's at right now, there's no way the Des Moines survives this. i got to make sure I don't run into an island. I only I only landed one torp. Eesh. Both teams now down five ships. We do have a little bit of a points advantage. We were getting more points because of the two caps, but with red ships in the alpha cap, we're not getting those points for the time being. Now, Des Moines is holding that down, but I expect... Yeah, Genon, he's going to try and rush him down, and Columbo's trying to get in there where he can find an angle. And... Oh, yeah, all three are there working like a pack. So what's Good and Lou going to do? Deactivated. Now, Des Moines, if Janan comes around that corner, and I hope Good and Lou keeps running that direction, if Janan comes around that corner... He's going to try and torp Des Moines. Now, Des Moines, Des Moines, if he's got his AP loaded, he can wreck that genome. 
and maybe eat a torp or two. Red Holland takes out our Secure U, our Kremlin takes out their Holland, Genon takes out our Des Moines, <clears throat> and I'm detected by their CV. So I really have to fall back. I would love to have been able to finish him off with guns, but that just wasn't in the cards. Because he had help here. And the bad guys now have the advantage. They are in the Charlie cap. They are in the Alpha cap. They hold the Bravo cap. Is Columbo really going to cross here? And you can see our Conqueror. He's just sailing broadside. Uh... That is questionable at best. Kunming takes out our Kremlin. Our Kremlin takes out the enemy Des Moines. Okay, Conqueror is now angled a little bit. And what is Colombo doing now? I don't want to throw the torpedoes out until I know he's committed to something. It only takes a little while for them to reload, and I'm just going to have to hope. And really where I threw them there, they could be dual purpose because they, they have the range to cross between Alpha and Bravo. Let's hope at least one of these lands looks like two. And he's flooding, so if Conqueror can get him burning now, and I can get behind him and see if I can spot the Genon or Gudenlu. I, I'm guessing at least one of them is crossing between A and B right now. But it's not impossible that somebody went south looking for me. 25 seconds, I've got torps back up. I don't want to get detected, so I'm going to keep angling a little bit south. You can see our U-2501 is moving in directly ahead of their Colombo. <laughs> so I've got help there. And there is the Genon. So these are for Guden Lu. And I have to not get detected here because Genon, oh man, he would wreck me. So I just have to ping him and hope that our Conqueror can get guns on him. Our Holland takes out the Kunming. So our Holland's having a great game. That's kill number two for him. Now, those could be dual-purpose torpedoes. I might catch Colombo here, and maybe Gudenlu. So, Gudenlu probably pointed out that the torpedoes were there. And Colombo turns to be able to avoid them. Well, we are down on points, but we... Courtesy of our U-2501, now have the Bravo cap, and courtesy of our other Holland, have the Charlie cap. So I just have to not die. And that's also true of the U-2501. We're down a little over 100 points. We've got three of their, three of the four of them relatively close. Colombo just made a just absolute run for it. He knew there was a sub out here and said, I don't want any part of that. Now, I've got to get up here where I can do some good. I'm glad that I ran, but I, I ran so far south that I'm having to chase, and that's never a good thing. Conqueror is the focus of the bad guy's CV right now. Engine boost deactivated. So maybe they're going to be coming back this way. And if they are, maybe I get torpedoes on both of them. U2501, he's he's really in, he's in a bad spot right there. And it looks like they've both decided to charge, so my torpedoes may actually be effective. Nope, Genon said, no, I'm not going to do that. And it's that saved him, because he would have eaten at least one, maybe two of those torpedoes. 
and our sub has submerged. So I lose sight of the good loop, but I think the torpedoes are going to catch him as he moves in close to try to finish off our sub. So Gunlu goes down. I was forced south again. Jinan doing a good job of just trying to zone me out. But with 15 kilometers range on the torpedoes, I am able to land one on Gunlu. And he flooded out. Colombo plainly moving into the Bravo cap. Our U-2501 there to help. The United States, you can see the last known position. My guess is he's moved south. Yep, there he is. And... That's going to really cut down on the travel time for his aircraft. He's going to be able to make more strikes in a shorter period of time. Now I have to hope Jinan is going to run straight at that sub. I mean, eventually it had to happen, right? He's going to have to angle to the Conqueror. And he's probably thinking, at the very least, i got to try and take this sub out. And if that's the case, I might catch him the same way that I caught the Gudenlu. Assuming that our uh, sub doesn't take him out. <clears throat> and he might. Okay, looks like Jinan is actually turning back. And you saw that our Conqueror went down. So it's three ships apiece, and the bad guys have a points lead. Really need to sink somebody. Oh, Jinan, are you really going to do that? That's right. You have nothing to worry about. Just come on around. Everything is fine. Everything is all right. Ho, ho, ho. And our sub finishes him off. How about that? So now it's three ships to two. We have a little bit of a points lead, and I mean a little bit of a points lead. 11 points. And the bad guys have two caps, so our points, points lead is going to evaporate. Oh, Genon, don't be so hard on the sub. I took the, the majority of your remaining HP. Now, can I catch the United States here in the cap? I'm tempted to run for A, but I, I need to stay close enough boost to get more torpedoes and or get guns on their CV. So I'm going to boost up here. You can see he's still moving forward, albeit slowly. At the angle, he's got that CV right now. I could land two or three torpedoes, I think. And I'm now in gun range. I can use the edge of the island to remain out of sight. This one, this is coming down to the wire. Okay, so I'm going to see how many of these land. Let me slow down here. And get the guns hot. So he's not going to be able to see me unless he gets aircraft in the air over here. He's focused on the Holland up north. <clears throat> and he was probably moving south because he was expecting torpedoes to come from that direction. And I know that our sub is going to be throwing torpedoes in this guy's face. Here they are. i got to throw it in reverse. I don't want him to back up so far I can't hit him anymore. And that's going to be it for him. Now, he did get some aircraft away. Enemy aircraft carrier and I'll just have to deal with that as I head for the Alpha Cap. Don't think he's going to be able to wipe me out here, but I expect to take some damage. Yep, almost 4,000. Okay, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the ball game. We've got a points lead. We're going to secure both of these caps, Alpha and Bravo. Colombo, he's probably going to run for Charlie, and that's fine. But with a minute and six seconds remaining, just not enough time for Colombo to be able to save the day. You can see those Holland Torps coming in there. This was a very fun game to play. Uh, kudos to everybody. You don't get, well, I don't get that many close games anymore. Maybe one out of 15, one out of 20 is close. A lot of lopsided blowouts. So a game like this that kind of comes down to the wire, um, I really enjoy that. Uh, I had a game not too long ago. I think the points at the end, there was like a four-point differential. Uh, so uh, that's, that's kind of what I live for in this game, or those close ones. And the same to you 
Kaio 2018, and Cap Dantas. You guys played a great game. Uh, between the three of us, we picked up five of the bad guys and secured some some caps and got some torpedoes landed. Those of you joining me, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.